Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. We're gonna continue on the how-to series and learn how to prepare a car for painting. We've already taken the car apart in a previous video and showed you how to evaluate the parts. Now we need to strip the paint. In the previous video, we had to drill out the holes and put in the screws. Now I went in and I drilled the engine out and took it apart. So it's got paint on it, so that's gonna to have to be stripped also. So I've got this citrus strip here. Let's zoom back, there we go. Got this citrus strip here that you can get at Walmart. It's not that expensive. We're gonna cover the car with the paint stripper. And the paint stripper can be used on more than one car, which is really cool. This paint stripper works extremely well. Now there's many brands of paint stripper out there. I've tried different brands. I like the citrus strip. Now, initially I was using the citrus strip in a can. And here on the bottle it even says, no harsh fumes. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you use that paint stripper in a spray can, you are going to get harsh fumes and it will make you choke and make you cough and everything. So I do have a can of that stripper, but I'm not using it anymore unless I use it outside. So I prefer the gel. Plus you can maneuver it the way you want to. Now with the paint stripper here, what's really cool about this is that you can go ahead and strip the paint and just let it set. Now I've let cars sit one, two days, three days, and it doesn't affect the metal whatsoever. So we're going to let this soak and let the paint stripper do its magic. And as soon as that's done, we'll get back to you. We got the car back out of the paint stripper. It did a really good job and removed just about all the paint. Now it's time to buff it up. One of the first things we're going to use is a little bit of steel wool, maybe even this brass brush here. I prefer the brass brush because the steel ones tend to leave a lot of scratch marks in your surface. If you have any heavy stains or anything that you can't get out, you may want to consider going to some sandpaper. Now there are numbers on sandpaper and just about everybody knows what those numbers mean, but I'm going to go over it anyways. 60 grit sandpaper is very, very rough. The lower the number, the higher the grit. Look at the grit on this one here. Now I wouldn't use this high of a grit on my cars because it'll scratch the heck out of them. But I just use this as an example. I may start out with approximately 400 grit sandpaper, like here. Now you can still see that there's some grit in there. And that will do a good job at removing some really heavy stains or some really deep scratches. But then to get the scratches from the 400 out, you may want to use 800 grit sandpaper. Now the higher the number, the finer the grit. Then you go up maybe to 1200, and in this case here, I've even got all the way up to 3000. Excuse me. Now there's a lot of numbers in between there, and it's up to you to which ones you want to use. Some people will wet sand the cars, some people will dry sand the cars, but you'll use this to get your finish really, really nice. Now that I've got it all sanded down and use some steel wool on that, I'm gonna go ahead and start to polish it. I started using this flitz polish, which is really good for metal. I've used it a couple of times so far and I'm very pleased with the results. So going to use a little bit of this flitz and we're going to polish it up and we'll get right back to you. After we finish polishing the car up, one of the next steps we do before painting is go ahead and using a degreaser of some kind, get in there, spray it on down using a plastic brush or a toothbrush or something, scrub it on down and get into all the nooks and crannies that you possibly can. If for any reason you're painting and your paint is bubbling up, it's probably because you got oils from your fingers on there or some wax from the polishing and the buffing that you did. This step here will help eliminate that. 
It's a very, very important step. Please don't skip it. One of the things on the car that we did notice during our evaluation is that the pillar posts were cracked, both of them. You can see a crack there. You can also see a crack there. There was also a small dent in the roof. And what I did is I took a punch and a small hammer and I tapped very, very lightly on the underside. And uh, you could still see it if you look real close, but uh, for the most part, it's gone. I was pretty happy with that. I used some of the thick super glue and then I dusted it with some baking soda to cure it and make it hard. Now that that's done, I'm going to take a file and clean it all up and then wipe it down again. And it'll be all ready to go for paint. And there you have it. Your car is ready to paint. Please join me in my next episode, How to Paint Your Car. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And please come back to Diecast Graveyard. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. And I look forward to seeing you in another episode. Cheers.